Okay, so I hope that you guys, um, hold on, because I can't do two things at one time for whatever reason. I hope that you guys really kind of, and I saw a ton of video, uh, uh, videos of um, your stories throughout the week that um, was great. And I hope that that kind of helped where you finally started sharing your story and realizing that you're more than just a beach body coach. Um, you have so much more to offer. And so I hope that you guys really kind of learned a lot from that, experienced a lot from that, all that kind of jazz. So tonight we're going to talk about connections. Um, and that was the next kind of part on the survey that, um, let me turn my phone over, that I felt like um, a lot of people kind of had some hard moments in that. So I'm going to share my screen. And I have been like uber tired today. So I don't know if it's the weather or what. And now my screen is glitching again. Can y'all see here? I want to Maybe it's my heater. Hold on. That is crazy. What is going on? I'm just going to hide my screen. Blue system resources may affect your audio quality. Can y'all hear me okay? Okay. That's so strange. All right. I don't know what is going on. My computer is acting like me. Um, all right. So today we're going to talk about connections. And this is where, and I know I said this to Arnett earlier, as well as I have said this for a long, long time. A lot of people tend to go in for the ask too soon. And so as we're kind of going through this, I want you to think about as you meet people regularly. Um, you know, you wouldn't walk up to them and say, hey, I'm a beach body coach. You would get to know them. Um, okay, so let's see if my screen, my computer glitches out again. Um, as well as, a, oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Um, as well as the date. So, like, that was one thing that I really kind of think about when I'm making connections is, you, as well as you wouldn't go on a first date and like immediately go in for a kiss. You would get to know the person more than likely, that kind of thing. Um, so as we're going through this, they think about how you would normally meet people and how you would normally behave. So we're going to talk about why connections are so important, where to meet people, how to properly engage, and then when to invite because you have to get through all of this in order to invite. You can't just go right in um, and start saying what you're doing. And then I'll kind of share a group that I'm in right now that I'm kind of getting to know. So why making connections are even important. Um, and honestly, people crave connection in person and online. But social media in particular was built for human connection. That's why Facebook was built um, and way, way, way back in the day when Trey was a toddler, maybe even like a baby toddler, there was a, I don't even know what website it was, but there was some type of website for moms and it was like groups, online group, I guess almost like, like a MySpace or whatever. And you would get to know other moms and that were on this website, whatever the website was. And we became friends so much. It feels weird. My hit my camera not on. Anyways, um, we became friends to where when I decided to leave that website, the women started, because we had all of our phone numbers, the women started calling me and was making sure that I was okay. And it was like, no, I I just spend way too much time time on this website at this point. But that's kind of what social media is. And I have met really like 99.9% .9 of my customers and coaches 
through social media. The first people that even signed up with co as coaches with me were people that I met on social media. It was not someone that I had known for a long time that, I mean, I think I had met them like within the last 30 days of signing up as a coach. It also keeps your funnel of like-minded people full. You're building a community of people just like you. So as we go through this, you're not building a community of like random people. You're building a community of your people, your you. So my people are going to be different than our nets that are going to be different from Connie's. And, and likewise, we all have different people. We're all in different aspects of our lives. So there are ways, of course, there are different ways to meet people. If you are an in-person person, then totally go out and meet people. But you have to go out. You can hold fit clubs, which I I don't know why I haven't done a fit club in forever. Um, but I loved doing fit clubs where you just got together and you did a beach body workout. Um, and I promoted it online and invited people to it online, but then we would all get together. And that was where I had, um, a, a bunch of people that started coming and going to that. We used a church back then. You could, you know, use a church for free. If you're a member at a church, um, joining clubs that are local to you. When I was going through my separation, I knew as a huge introvert that I needed to get out. And so I joined a women's hiking group and it was completely out of my norm. However, it forced me to get out and to meet people, um, getting engaged in school activities, um, work activities. I can't move. Ah, I can't move that. Um, there we go. Um, but starting to get out, there's there's a website too that I used when I went through my separation and it had all these local events and I cannot think of the name, but like if you hiked or, you know, whatever, roller skating, whatever you're into, it had all these events and I can't remember like that people would form. Anyways, there's different ways that you can get out and meet people. I love social media. So we're going to talk a whole lot about social media because I am not that in-person kind of person. So where do you meet people on social media? For me, being an introvert and a mom and worn down and busy all the time, it's easy for me to find people on social media just because I, oops, sorry, Jennifer, whoops, sorry. <laughs> We keep doing it at the same time. Okay. Um, uh, but it's easy for me to meet people and to control my time. Same thing, like I think Jennifer was saying there was someone that wanted to meet her in person. And that is just so exhausting for me. I also know where my strengths are and closing someone face to face. I'm just not good at um, so we're going to talk a ton more about social media. If you are an in-person person, then we can kind of work around that as well. So where do you find people on social media? And I'm going to talk a whole lot more about Facebook, just because Facebook is still one of, or it is the most used um, social media platforms. Instagram is number two. I don't remember the third It's I think it's Twitter. Um, but first we're going to go through friend suggestions. And so that is where you click on your friends section and you will see friend suggestions. And these are people that you have mutual friends in common with. And so I just screenshotted mine real quick. I didn't even go through it. Um, but the, this is what you ask yourself. So I would look at the first one, which is Andrea Myers. I recognize her from Super Saturday. So my first question would be, are they a coach? So Andrea is. So I would skip her because obviously I don't want her to be a coach or I don't, you know, I can't network with her. Are they already in a network marketing business? Honestly, I'm not like, I'm not going to try and convince and 
you know, get you to, to come over, I'm not going to friend request someone that's already in network marketing and they're already actively talking about a network marketing business. Do they look like your person? So I have no idea who Holly Love King is, um, but she looks like she's possibly around my age in a relationship. She would be someone that I would click on the mutual friends with, see who her friends are, and more than likely add her as a friend. I can do these very, very quickly because if there, if we don't have a common connection as far as in, in network marketing or Beachbody, I'm going to send them a friend request um, as well as I still have not really connected with people on my side of town since I've moved in 2019. And so more than likely there's someone local, local, and I can connect with them. Because people are going to likely accept your friend request if you have about two plus mutual friends. So again, I'm not adding men. I'm not, add, I will tell you a funny story of someone that I tried to connect with and break through. Um, but they, they don't look like, they always call them like these high-end Nashville looking girls where like, I swear they just go out and party all the time. I don't know what they do for a living. They all hang out together. It's weird. I don't know. I can't break through those either. Um, but are they someone that if I met, if I was in a, a like a, a family Christmas party get together? Are they someone that I could genuinely go up and have a conversation with just by kind of quickly looking at their profile? You might not because then you you might accept or they might accept your friend request and you start seeing their post and you're like, whoa, I cannot connect with this person. Um, so a funny story, I, uh, there was a girl that came up on my friend's suggestions and her name was like Bunny. And I was like, oh, I bet she's a stripper. <laughs> and so I of course started like looking through her page and she was a stripper. And so I had to send her a friend request because I was like, oh, if I can get in the stripping world because they all need to work on them, on their bodies, then obviously this would be great. Turns out they are really hard to talk to. <laughs> So, so you can try there's, so just kind of think outside the box too. They are a totally different breed though. It didn't work. Um, but someone that you can genuinely connect with, I, I could not genuinely connect with, with them whatsoever. Um, someone that if you were in the same room with that, you could semi have a conversation with. So these should be very quick. Like I can run do, run through this list and request about three to five people. The next way are Facebook groups. And I'm gonna tell you how to navigate without being spammy. And then I'll even show you um, a group that I'm in right now that I was ac actually just recently added in. I wanted to move this, there we go. Okay, so you're going to join areas of interest that you can actually communicate in. So this is one of mine, the unapologet unapologetic stepmom page. Um, it's a little bit hard to go through at times. I will scroll and if there's a post that I can connect with and actually add something funny, or advice or whatever, then I will comment on that. And um, I, so I will show you in real time what, what I do if I can escape or get out of this. So there's a group that I was actually added in. Um, it's a 30s and up women's community in Nashville. And so if you can see, it says the rules no MLMs. So all the groups say that because if they don't, then they're going to get spammed up with crazy marketers. Um, so I can scroll through here because it's um, Monday, post your business on Mondays. I can't post mine because I'm a network marketer. So what I can do is I can go, oh, Nicole, I really like her. Like her stuff is genuinely cute. And so I just said, these are super pretty, so pretty. And so she responded back and I will click 
add friend. Um, she's friends with some local people that I know, um, as well as Lauren Hill. So we have 18 mutual friends. More than likely, she's going to accept my friend request. I don't post anything. Like I'm just scrolling. I'm liking, I'm talking. I added my Instagram. Um, I'm just getting to know, and I'm brand new in this group. So I'm just really kind of getting to know the women that are in there. Um, and I don't say a word about what I do. Um, so let me get back to here. So think about what makes you, you. Um, I had a coach a long, long time ago that, which it's funny because I just now started watching Sons of Anarchy, but she loved Sons of Anarchy. And she was in all these groups on Facebook. Her entire downline, and she had a massive one at the time, was all from the Sons of Anarchy group page. I'm not kidding. They talked about it. She would correspond in there, friend request a couple of people, and they would start seeing her stuff on her Facebook page. Your only goal in these group pages are to actually talk about what the group is about. If someone said, like, I, I met Jennifer actually in a plastic surgery group. Um, I never said, like, hey, I'm a beach body coach. There will be people in there that will ask for advice, like weight loss advice. Um, I actually saw one. I don't remember what group it was. I saw one, like, today. Um, and I didn't even comment. And I didn't friend request her. Um it's just, it gets into that sticky side of you cannot promote your business, your multi-level marketing business, and you don't want to get kicked out. So your only goal in these groups is to talk. You're not going to sell them a darn thing. You're going to talk in there. If they have a mutual like feeling as yours, I would send them a friend request and then I wouldn't say anything else. So you're going to comment on that subject. You're going to friend request a couple of your people. Do this maybe like one time a week, one time a week. You don't want to go into this group every single day and be adding people. You do want to go into that group maybe like once or twice, three times a week, comment on there genuinely, and then get out, go, go to a different group. I can only focus on one or two groups at a time. Uh, and then I don't really see them that much. So sometimes I'll see like the plastic surgery group, like in the morning. Um, and then that 30s and one, just because it's local. And I do kind of want to get to know women genuinely in that area. Another time is I, I decided years ago to buy a German short haired pointer dog. It was our first dog. It was my first German short haired pointer and I needed tons of advice. And so I joined German short haired pointer group pages to ask for advice. And that is how I met people for a long time. And they would even, I had to rehome her um, about a year in because we were in a subdivision, but people would still go, hey, how's Penny? Where's Penny? And I, I hadn't had her even for years. And so I had met people through these group pages. Um, and so eventually they became my customers, coaches, et cetera. So think about common things that you can join. There's a group page for literally anything and everything. There's even commercials about Facebook group pages. <laughs> if you saw them on TV, um, so think about like couponing, um, shows that you watch. Um, if you're, uh, if you have a certain kind of dog, I'm a part of like a couple of muzzle. I had thought about like muzzling Loki at one point, um, pit bulls, like whatever, there's a group page for it. And you're just going to get to know that group. So this is our step process. So you requested them. And then what do you do? Do you send them an instant message? Do you like say, hey, nice to meet you? Like, what the heck do you do? For me, and I've heard different things, but for me, what I do is I will send them a friend request 
And then if you go in, well, I'm not going to show you, but if you go into your friends list, you can click on recent. And so I will click on the recent tab and go down that list. And if they've accepted your friend request, then you go on their page, like, make sure to like or comment and or both on their last post. If they have stories, amazing. If they have stories, make sure to comment on something like that. And you just continue doing that. So you're not going to send them a message and go, hey, nice to meet you. I saw you in blah, blah, blah. I've done that before. And you can do that. I just feel like that's still like a little weird. Like I would be like, oh, okay. Hey, nice to meet you too. Like, I don't know. You can, if you want. This is a way that I've done it like multiple times because I feel like it's less intrusive than going straight in for a message. So again, you don't want to go in for the kiss too soon. It's time to build the relationship, small talk, comment, like on their stuff. There's a one, three, five method of following a person, commenting on three posts, liking five posts. That's on Instagram. You can do it on Facebook as well. So then think about as you're talking to people, you're going to move away from like the small talk baseline stuff. Eventually, as you become friends, you talk about more than that. You talk about your life. You talk about relationships. You talk about, you know, what your dog, like whatever group that you met. That's probably kind of what you're going to discuss a whole lot more. Um, there was a girl that I actually met. The stepmom group is hard to break into because they don't want to be friends with anyone because they think that they're they're getting stuff screenshotted back to the the mom. But there was one girl and she was like, "Hey, yeah, I saw that you were a part of the stepmom page." And so we just kind of talked about like our stepkids, our situations, all that kind of thing, which that strengthens the friendship. So they're going to be, you're going to take people through this process. Like you're going to get to know them. You're going to get past the small talk of like quick comments on their stories, start talking about real life. And then you're going to go, okay, do I like this person enough to invite them? Or do I feel like this is probably a wash? Because you don't have to invite every single person. There might be someone where you're like, mm, no, thanks. Uh, and that's totally fine. They're not your person. But if you get to a point in your conversation, building that friendship up and you go, hey, we've taught, we've chatted like back and forth quite a bit. I really feel like we're BFFs at this point. Girl, why don't you join my March fitness accountability group that you have built a relationship up and they trust you. It's not like a quick ask. So like the people that you're going to be connecting with and friend requesting and building that relationship up, you might not invite them unless you really feel led. And then if you feel led or if the relationship or if the friend conversation naturally goes to that, then totally go like, Hey girl, you were talking about that. You needed some, ex whoops, that you needed some extra money. Um, I know this is usually not how I do this, but I wanted to go ahead and ask you because I've, it's been on my heart. Would you consider doing what I do? If I sent you a video, would you be open to it? So if you feel led, then totally go ahead and ask them. But these are people that you might put on your next invite list. So like the people that you're working on, it's January. These would be people that you would invite for your March group. And they still might think it's too soon. And that's when you keep on liking and commenting on their stuff. But if you do this process, you are never going to run out of people and you're not going to be asking the same five people every single time. So let's quickly talk about Instagram. And I did not make a post for that. Whoops. Hold on. So let's see if we can get out of this where is there it is so let's see so on instagram
I could have pulled this up before we got on the call, but I told you I've been really funky today. Um, so, oh my gosh. So on Instagram, you're gonna think of this same way. Aside from you're not going to be joining groups. Um, so let's, let me get through all this. Um, so let's see. We're going to search up. We're going to search up. Let's just say Paris Hilton because I, like what I said last night, I got stuck into the Paris Hilton, Britney Spears stuff on TikTok. So we're going to look at Paris Hilton. If I loved Paris Hilton, I would go on her page and I would click on her last post. And down here, you see all the people that have liked it. So what I would do is I would scroll to actual people and we'll do a different one, but like Lucy looks real. So I would follow Lucy and we're going to go to a different account. So let's say that you are into painting furniture. So say I just finished spray painting a dresser. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to find, so this one only has two likes. We're not going to click on this. This one has 281. So we are going to click on this one touch finish page. And we are going to look at their likes. Can, can we find some normal people? So Lori looks normal. So I would request Lori. And this would take a little bit, but you're going to think about place it or things that I'm not good using Instagram on my desktop. Um, things that. Okay. Here we go. Now Jacqueline's thinking. I listened to Murder With My Husband podcast. So this is what we would do. We would go on Murder With My Husband's last podcast. And we would click on all these people because they've listened to the podcast. They listen to Murder With My Husband podcast. And they are actual normal looking people aside from Ashley. She looks young. Um, so you would scroll through this, like Lindsay looks like a normal looking person. She's not a bot. She looks like some, someone I might could connect with. So I would just hit request. Melinda, she has a, a, a public page. She also looks like that we have a whole lot more in common with maybe a college kid. So I would definitely send her a friend request. So you would go through these larger accounts and uh, follow them. So that way it's an easier way to quickly find people. And on Instagram, you can do it pretty quickly just because you're just sitting here and you're scrolling through all these people. Like she might not, well, she's young too. Um, like she might be someone I would connect with. However, that person might not because they look kind of younger. Um, they don't post. So I couldn't overly connect with them, but I would treat them the same way where I would go through this whole process. So I would like comment on their stuff. I would follow their stories. 
And then I would build up the relationship. And it could even be like, hey, girl, did you just listen to that last murder with my husband podcast? And then that way you guys could start talking. Um, But you only go through the small talk, building the relationship, and then you invite. So that way you're not going into cold invites ever. So here's your homework. I want you to find two groups to join that you can engage in only. Friend request five people and add them to a list or at least know where you can pull up your recent ads. And then use that method of building your friendships up. So these are not going to be the people that you invite. These are going to be people that you are going to just talk to. And that's it. Does anyone have any questions before we run out of time? And you can unmute yourself as well. Jennifer, are you trying? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was trying to push the button. (laughs) <laughs> so I had asked earlier, um, like how many posts, you know, we should do, because mm-hmm. I'll see some people where they like overload your timeline, especially if they're, um, like in marketing, Yeah, it's like a, con- cons- I can't even think of the word, but it's like repetitive, you know what I mean? So I was wondering like, what would, is probably too much and what is, not enough. Does that make sense? I only post. So on Facebook, I might post twice a day, only if like the kids do something funny or I'm going out, but I try and limit it to one time a day and then one Instagram post a day. The rest, I will fill up my stories like no other. But if I can focus on consistently posting one time a day to each account and even like what I try and do because Instagram will basically only show reels at this point. So like Mm -hmm. tomorrow is supposed to be a fitness oriented post. So I already have my reel made, but I could use that same verbiage and put it in a still photo on Facebook. So I'm only coming up with one round of content a day. So like, if what you post on Facebook, do you kind of basically post the same thing on Instagram? Yeah. Kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, because they, I really, the same people that I'm friends with on Facebook, I'm more than likely not that much connected with on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was kind of wondering, which I haven't figured out exactly how to get the reels down. But I was like, should I post the same thing on Facebook and on Instagram? Because Instagram is a little different. Like it's just a completely different kind of yeah. Media atmosphere kind of thing. Definitely. And it's harder for me to connect with people on Instagram. I have like, it takes me 10 times longer to build a relationship on Instagram than it does on Facebook. I, and that could be mental. That could be in my head. Um, oh, it really, it seems like it is just yeah. in general, even like people, you know, in real life, it's yeah. like, it's weirder on Instagram. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and that's why, like, I always tell people just to really start on Facebook, even if you start meeting people on Facebook. And then slowly working your Instagram, um, because I, you're right. I, it's just completely different. Um, but yeah. Okay. Is everyone else good? I have a question about a reel. Sure. I've made a few that were just funny. And then one that was just kind of serious about my grandbaby, but. I don't think I put the appropriate content in there other than how much I love them. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm looking for to do a reel. So what um, you have to find, which if you scroll, 
on your reels, the ones that have, you're not gonna be able to see it on here. So I don't know why I'm trying to show you, but the ones that have the upper arrow mm -hmm. in the corner is a trending sound. And so you would use that. And then a lot of times now what people are doing is just like them walking, like they're sho showing their shoes or like mm -hmm. you in the background or something and then putting text all on the video to where you're not even like the focal point. It's the video and the wording. Um, and then I, I really don't post the kids because usually the kids don't go well. <laughs> <laughs> they they stay on Facebook because they don't generate anything over on Instagram. <laughs> um, so I you kind of have to be a little bit selective with stuff like that as well, unfortunately, unless it is like a big day. Like I did post the wedding, <laughs> but usually stuff like that doesn't do so hot. And I think you do kind of have to like niche down a little bit more to like who you are and what you are and stick with that. Well, when I did it, I posted it on Facebook. I didn't go to Instagram because okay. I get lost on Instagram and I can't figure out how to delete it if I wanted to. <laughs> Let me, I was going to look. So I, the reels on Facebook, I feel like they're still like messing with it because well, hell, Connie, you have 800 views on one and 847 on the other and seven and a half thousand views on what is that one wow. is that the baby on the baby <laughs> well you're doing better than all of us what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> just kind of blurted it out there I didn't really know what the heck I was doing I, I well you're gonna be doing a tutorial because I'm like wow you're <laughs> you're doing good um on on Facebook I will do stuff like that I would do more stuff like about the kids because people know who you are over there so like even like if you did a reel like that and then the next day you did a beach body reel and then the following day you did something more family oriented again just stick with that schedule so yeah Oh, we're almost out of time. Does anyone else have anything? <laughs>